so guys just before i get into this video mail call i didn't expect that this to get here so fast i had to think about who it was from obviously i looked on it's from marie curry and it's flowers and i don't know what flowers so i like a surprise i thought i'd share it with you as we're going on i've just pulled um mr and mrs carrot out of, as well that's it that's it garden bed so i'll show you that it's quite um, amusing if you've got a pure isle kind of mind like me wow oh let's have a look there's lots of stuff and a card lots and lots of stuff in here ornamental bunny tails nigella delft blue oh wild carrot alpine poppy mix mixed poppy seeds Larkspur white flower is very good. Four feet tall, but it hurts. Toxic if ingested. And be careful where I put where I plant. Oh, Black Prince Snapdragon. I like Snapdragons. Superb. Thank you very much. God. This is a long video. You just have to put up with it. <laughs> It says, please don't do the bike stroke. It's scared. You know, it scares the children. That's superb. I won't go through that, but that's superb. Thank you very much, Marie. I'll get my seeds together for you, and uh, I'll get them sent out. I've got the stuff drying here from the um, oh, what is it? Elderberry. Okay, I've got. A few. I've got some seeds here, and I'll get them out to you. I'll get on with it. So, guys, it's time to take these last two buckets of potatoes, and we'll see how many potatoes we got out of the old uh, Spudomatic this year, with the experiments and different things I tried. On another note, I've had a lot of food off it. Um, I took four cucumbers off last night. And there's still more coming although these have been affected by the cold we had some nights that were down to six cent centigrade so it didn't do them any favors but the one in the greenhouse is still going and although i picked all them beans off this other day it's hanging in beans again or well, they're hanging in beans again so they'll keep going Good. So guys, these are number 19 and number 20. So let me just quick see what they are. Nineteen and two quarters of a Victoria. And number 20, two quarters of a Victoria. One at five sprouts, number 19. And at number 20, it had seven sprouts. Now, I've just, uh, <laughs> I watched Deb Garnett's video earlier, and she just planted some, well, sprouts off of, <laughs> just, just the sprouts, not the potato. Something similar to what Big Well Green Fingers did. I will put a link below to her video and her result, quite an amazing result for what she did. She did a little series on it. So, let's have a look. And that one incidentally is number 20. Quite 
quite large, but they are a late potato, so. Number 20. There's a five sprouts on that. I need to dig in my pockets just yet. Let's put that there. Just pull that out. Potatoes are ready. I mean, I could have left them to grow on. There were some, some life in them, not a lot. Okay. Don't know what them bees done. Yeah, there's a few of them in there. Got more bugs in I'm gonna have to go through this dirt before I put anything else in it in greenhouse. Poor. Well. But what I'll do is I'll add them up and see what we get. I'm on number 19. Now for a brief interlude, I put the spare um, tagliatelles, marigolds, what I had, <laughs> in there. They come best out of all lot, I think. Fucking nuts. So, here we are again. Let's have a look what we've got. Number 19, the light one. Three hundred and thirty nine grams, pretty poor. Quarter potato, five sprouts. Now, them worms might not have helped, <laughs> what I'm saying. And number 28, 694 grams. Quarter potato, seven sprouts. I'll get them all added up and see what the total was then. So guys, the results are in. Um, I had really mixed results. Now, the first two buckets, one and two, number one and two, both had a full Victoria in, yeah? One of them gave me 740 grams, and one of them gave me 103 grams. Planted exactly at the same time, same dirt, same treatment everywhere. So that were quite strange. The, the, the Victorias that I cut didn't really do very well. I'm not gonna go through everything, obviously. The best performing bucket, was two Charlottes, which give me one uh, 1.285. So that were a good bucket. The second best again, a Charlotte with uh, a kilo 60. So cutting them didn't work well for me. But what I will say is, I mean, I looked at that uh, variety makes a big difference, I suppose. And what I did do, or what I didn't do, at the beginning of the year was put the irrigation system on we had some temperatures a week where it were like yeah crazy hot more than a week it were like 36 38 and spuds don't like um warm weather um i sound like i'm making excuses don't i 
I'm, I am. Um, but on other, on other things as well, the the horns, some of them got broke off going past with kids and going past with lawnmower. So what I would do, or what I will do next year, I will make sure I I'm, they're tied up somewhere. If we get 36 or uh, 38 degrees, I might put some shade cloth up. They've got water, they'll have shade, the leaves will be tied up. That should help a lot, you know, if you're breaking horns off you're not going to do in many favors but what you've all been waiting for isn't it is the result well i'll tell you after editing up five times and got the same result three times which is always a bonus 15 kilos 57 all right now in all honesty i was hoping for about 20 i went i were expecting 20 but like i said i did some experiments with cuts and stuff like that Another thing I will do next year is I'll pull them all out after about 110 days and then replant the Spodomatic with whatever. If I can start them early enough in Greenhouse, now I've got the other system in Greenhouse. I will do a full video on Spodomatics, what I'm going to do, but I'll, what I'm going to say now is if I, do, if I were to do a full system, well, as it is in Greenhouse, I'll start them in Greenhouse really early, move them out onto Spodomatic, could even then possibly get a second crop of spuds in. But I've got other plans where I'm thinking that I'm going to put one on back of my shed to do a late variety of potato. So I'll have two spudomatics running and then the one on the quail house will be planted up with veg and salads. But I don't know fully yet. But the winner, the winner, that's what you want to know. Who's the winner? Uh, well, that's Bill and Val. Now, <coughs> I'll put the list of everybody's guesses and pin it in a comment below, show you what everybody's is. Bill, come, Bill and Val came in under, they were closest. So congratulations. I've got some seeds to send to you, uh, obviously. Um, and this is the fridge magnet I'm doing. Is the angry potato farmer. <laughs> Not angry, a little disappointed, but hey, you get what you get, don't you? The good, the bad, bad and the ugly. And I've still got 15 kilos of potatoes, or more than 15 kilos of potatoes, out of a one foot by six foot strip, if you look in it like that, on the ground space it took up. And I've, I'm getting lots of other crops out of that same space now, as, I'm to, as we talk. So it's not really a bad deal, is it? Anyway, don't forget to check um, Deb's channel out, because she did amazing with them sprouts chits but anyway it's nice to be nice congratulations bill and val well the results oh, light and then there was light